Hello and welcome to this lesson about CIA Triad. In this lesson, we're going to chat about the building blocks of data protection from malicious actors and also from natural disasters or unplanned activities. The fundamental blocks of data protection are C, I and A. Now, that's an acronym, isn't it? Let's understand these components individually. CIA stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. But then before we get into it, let's understand the methods of consuming the data. Data can be stationary or residing in one single location. Examples of these are hard drives or thumb drives. Data is also in transit, right? It moves from point A to point B. So when you're listening to this lesson, we are actually transacting some kind of a data over the wire or wirelessly, but in essence, it is still a transit. As a security professional, it is paramount that we protect both kinds of data, regardless they are stationary or in transit, because we are guardians of data, isn't it? That means we protect the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data at rest as well as in transit. So what do these terms mean? What is confidentiality? Now let's take a step back and we flip a few pages of Oxford Dictionary and it will tell me that confidentiality is about keeping things secret. Exactly, that is what it is in IT as well. So if I send an email to you, okay, you get it. And that also means that nobody else gets it, right? So the data in the email remains as a secret between you and me. Well, now that you know definition of confidentiality, let's think about how confidentiality can be achieved. Confidentiality can be achieved with encryption techniques. Now, what is encryption? Now, think about encryption as somebody locking your door or you locking your door. So you got three things now. The room itself, which has your property or documents or things, and that is something you would like to protect from outsiders. And then you have the lock and the key, right? So now who can open this door? The guy who has the key, isn't it? Similarly, when we say we are encrypting your data, then we lock it with a key and pass the key to the people whom you trust or whom you think should see the data. So the keys get transferred between relevant stakeholders who are authorized to see that information, okay? Now that being said, Let's summarize the concept of confidentiality. Confidentiality is about ensuring that data resides with right set of people. And those people are the intended recipients or the intended users who can access it. We achieve confidentiality through encryption. Now, moving to the next part in the acronym, the CIA triad, I'm just focusing my attention on integrity. Let's flip back the same dictionary word, integrity, and quickly refer the word in the book. And this tells me that the quality of being honest and something that has strong moral principles is integrity. So at this moment, I can think that this is the same definition in IT as well. Let's take a look at the same email example, okay? So we are sending a confidential email to another party, and the other party receives it. Great. But what if there is a man in the middle and this guy is intercepting the traffic? Now, if this is a scenario, then emails that are going from one point to another are also being received by the unintended recipients as well. And that's how it is losing integrity. Now that we understand this, let's talk about how integrity can be achieved in this situation. When we achieve integrity with a technology or a technique called as hashing. Now what is hashing? Hashing is a mechanism to change the actual data into some random values. And we do that using mathematical algorithms. So we are using mathematics here to change the data. So when the end user receives the data, the application uses the same algorithm to dehash the hashed content and gets the values for just that intended person. By doing this, we are ensuring integrity. All right, so we spoke about confidentiality and integrity. 
Now let's start about one last block which is availability. I don't want to look up the dictionary word here to know what availability is because it's pretty much self-explanatory, isn't it? Now availability is the process to ensure that your data in transit and the data at rest is always available regardless of human errors or natural disasters. Think about your data in your computer. What would you do if your data is not available when your computer crashes or you get a blue screen? I know you're thinking about backups and guess what, you're right. Now let's think about another scenario where there's a data center in your organization and it does not respond because there's a power failure. Now we must be thinking about generators or redundant power supplies. Yeah, that's the answer. So what would you do if there's a natural disaster? Well, you will have a hot side or a cold side, right? And we'll keep the discussion of hot side and a cold side for another lesson. But for now, think about it as an alternative site that is actually ready to cater to your business needs. In corporate environments, we as guardians of data, the ninjas of information security, always want to ensure that the data in transit and at rest are always kept confidential. They must have integrity and they must be always available for the end users. All right, that's all for this lesson. And do not forget that there are bad people out there who always have eyes on your intellectual property. So keep it safe.